guys, it's Shimi from Craft Seams and Things. So today I have another crafty idea for you. So what I want to show you how to make are these adorable little booklets. I got this idea because I won a giveaway and um, Pink Poodle Craft, she gave me these adorable um, little notebooks. I should have brought one out here. Um, and they were just so cute. They were made just from regular paper and then she had clear like white paper inside. They were so cute with a quote and flowers and all sorts of stuff. But what it inspired me was that I have these and I jelly printed these. Remember it was from the deconstruction art journal pages um, and I used the file folders um, because the paper is kind of thick and um, it paints really well. So um, I thought so while I have my jewelry plate out, I had these in, so I went ahead and um, deli printed on them. So there's designs and stuff on the inside. So I have quite a bit of those, uh, maybe about 10 um, from those pages that I made on camera with you. So um, I thought, well, how, well, I thought, well, I can transform these into little notebooks. Um, yeah, that are cute that I can include in Happy Meal or um, just keep in my purse, um, and then they have deli prints on the inside. So I just included some of my favorite deli prints on the inside, some are on magazines. And um, yeah, you just have a little journal kind of. And some of the pages on the back are blank, but I don't mind that. I don't think the other person would either. They can just, you know, apply stuff and, and play and doodle. And I made like a doodly cover which I love, which I think is adorable, and it just says create. So I'm going to show you how to make these super simple. So I just have some jelly prints here that I have um, in my stash. I have a needle, and I have a pointy tool, and then I also just have some of this cord. I got this at Walmart. It's like 97 cents, and you get quite a bit of it. So I've been looking for a way to use that. And then I just have a couple pins that I'll use in a second to doodle on. And um, this is the scrap that you're left over with. Okay, so basically you can take any of your deli prints. I would take one that was kind of thick or put a white piece of white card stuff underneath it and just cut it down um, to whatever um, width and length you want. Um, these that I'm making are, um, let's see, do I have my ruler here? I should have my ruler. Well, I do not have my ruler. But I'm guesstimating that, uh, oh, here it is right here, so I can show you, actually. So they are four and a half, actually four and a quarter inches high by four, okay? So almost five inches by four inches, okay? And all you're going to do is, it was like this. Right? And then I cut off that other end to make the papers. And um, all I did was just take it and fold it in so that I'll have this tab. Okay? And then all I'm going to do is just trim that off. And I'm not going to measure. If you want to, you can get out your paper cutter and make sure that it's really straight. But you guys know that I'm so not a measurer. And I want this just to be quick and easy, um, something that I can make. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Okay, so let's take this one. Okay, and then I have my jelly prints here. And I'm not even going to measure these. I'm just going to lay this out just like this, and then I'm going to put my jelly prints here. Kind of, I'm going to make sure that they're stacked up a little bit. Okay, and I can do it this way, which actually is perfect. It's it falls within the confines of my book. And then I'm just going to take just a pin and kind of mark off where it falls or where I want it to fall. I'm going to put it about there. Okay. And I'm just going to take these pages. Okay. And I see the top one that has the black line. I'm going to go right below there. And again, I don't care if it's straight. It doesn't make me any never mind. Okay. Just like that. So they'll go in just like that, okay? So, and then all I'm going to do is take these and fold them. But it's great. We have a mini journal, and um, it's a great way to use up all your jelly prints um, that you have lying around. Um, just a lot of fun. If you want these to be straight, then, you know, you can cut them down more. Um, I don't care if they are or not. 
I don't like um, the pages in homemade journals to be absolutely perfect, um, at least when I make them. Um, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me if um, they're off. If you can see a little bit of white, I'm just not a perfectionist. At least not about this. Probably in general, to be honest. <laughs> but if you are, take your time, measure. Just make sure you make a nice, good crease, okay? And then stack up them as you would like. Okay? And make sure that it's this way and that way. This way and that way. And at this point, if you want to, you can trim if you're worried, you know, that some of the pages are a little off. Then you have this like this, okay? Now for the cover, um, I didn't really want that white showing. And I wanted to kind of make it so it was a little bit cohesive. So what I did was I just took a little bit of my paint, this pretty gold color. I love gold. This is called Emperor's Gold. It's by um, Deco Arts. It's part of their metallic collection. And I'm just going to go around the edges. Just because these were a little bit too wide for my jelly print, so they didn't get all the way done. And it doesn't like cover it up completely. Um, it just adds just a nice little border. I love it. Okay, and then we can open this up and do the exact same thing. Okay, just like that. Just a little bit. And I'm just working right here on this beautiful drop paper that's full of gold paint, which I love right now. Okay. And I'm just going to let that try just for a second. And I can use up some of that paint on these other ones that I have. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now we are going to paper clip these together. So I just have some paper clips here. Make sure that they're all kind of straight on there. Just like that. And So thank you, Stacy. Um, if you guys haven't ch checked out um, Pink, Poodles, Pink Poodles' YouTube channel, it's amazing. I love um, her YouTube channel. She is so talented. There's a whole bunch of people that I love, but she's definitely really cool. And she has so many great ideas. So we're just going to kind of, this is just a pad that I got at the thrift store. Okay, we can take this, but before I do that, I'm going to just take some ink. And you guys know I like my edges inked. I just think that it adds a little bit more definition. So I'm just going to go around just with my ink. Just like that. Okay. Those edges there. And this is not fully dry, but we're going to work with it anyway. Okay? Take this. I should have had one prepared. Okay? And then we're going to take another paper clip. Okay? And we're going to attach it so that it's on the cover. Okay? And then I'm going to take my owl. Okay? And I want to make sure that these papers are right in the fold. That's the only thing that you have to worry about. Okay? And then I'm going to take my owl and I'm just going to go about an finger length away from the edge of where my papers are. So like right there, I'm going to make a hole. And I'm going to go through both the cover and the thing. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm just making two holes because it just is easy. You don't need to do three unless you want to. This is just a little journal. You know, it's nothing too fancy or anything like that. And then I'm just going to take a length of my cord just enough so that I can string it through and then tie it, so it doesn't take very much, actually. I'm trying to find it in here, so I don't miss up my cord any more than I already have. Sometimes I just cut from the middle, but I may be making a lot of these, so... There we go. All right. Okay. We're just going to cut from the middle. All right. All right. Okay. So I can just take this, and I just like to go around once, and that usually gives me, and then I usually happen that up, because it's not even going to take that much. 
just like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my needle. This is just a yarn needle. You can get them at the craft store. They're super duper cheap. Um, for a whole pack, I think it's like $3 and you get lots of different sizes. And if you're going to make journals, I recommend that you get these. They're not sharp at all. And if you don't have a pokey tool, um, you could absolutely just use a skewer. And I should have used that because I do have my skewer. And I use that more than the pokey tool. Now you take this, you're going to kind of find your hole, guide it through, pull it all the way through, just like that. Okay, and then you're just going to thread the needle on the other end. Okay, and I'm just wetting it a little bit with my mouth. This one's for me, I promise. <laughs> Normally I would wet it with water, but I don't have any water flows. Okay, let's take it, thread it through, just like that. And you can have the knot on the inside or on the outside. For these, I'm going to do it on the outside. Now, if you wanted to, you could add beads, which I might do with this one. I probably won't show you that part on camera, but I will probably do that. So you're just going to take it. See, that's what the inside looks like. Do you see that cord? Okay, I'm just going to take it and we're going to make a knot. Okay, a really tight knot. So that's one. Okay, and just hold it really tight and taut because we don't want our pages to come out. And what I do is I make like a half of a knot like this and then I tighten up this bottom knot. So I pull that as tight as I can on the bottom. Okay, and then I just give it a big tie, okay? And then I can just put some beads there, okay? And it's all set, it's all tight, and it's pretty taut, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Just like that. And now we can get to the fun part, the cover, okay? Right. So just pick whichever side you want, I'm gonna use this one, okay? And then, let me cover this in the pad, so we have to do that, and then it dries out. Alrighty, and I'm just going to take a black permanent marker. This just happens to be a big, um, I don't even know where, why I have this one, but I do. So I'm going to use that, and I can't find my cheap ones. And I'm just going to write create on there. And at first I'm just going to kind of make it thin, just so I can get kind of the shapes of the letters. If you wanted to, you could do this part in pencil. And I have the worst handwriting known to man, so if I can do this, then you can too, I promise. Okay, we're going to take this and we're going to lock everything out. We're going to make it nice and thick. And you see that this doesn't fully want to close, so I'm going to set it under a heavy book just to make it a little bit flatter and to make it behave a little better. Okay, but don't worry. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm gonna make some doodles with my black pen. So I'm gonna just make some little clumps or scallops, whatever you like to call them. Just gonna make some doodles. That's all we're doing here. And we're gonna highlight them in white. Okay, and then underneath here I can just put a little underling thing. Okay. And then hmm, I'm trying to think if I want maybe for this one I'll go up here and I'll make a few of these. Just a few. Let's do one more. Okay. All right. So then let's take out our white jelly roll pin. Okay, and we're gonna do, and I'm just gonna outline these little letters, okay? But while you have your jelly print out, you might as well, your jelly plate out, just go ahead and, you know, use some thicker cardstock, and you can absolutely make these. You do not have to use um, the vanilla envelopes that I use. Just use thick cardstock or attach your jelly prints to um, a thick, a 
thick piece of paper. Watercolor paper, cardstock, kind of whatever you like. These are so cute. And I love them because um, I saw on this blog, this one lady, she kind of does this, except she makes it in a bigger size, but she puts all her jelly prints in, um, she makes them into notebooks. And then she actually sketches on them. So she uses, she takes a white pen and she sketches on all her jelly prints. So she makes girls and guys and just fun little folk art people and it was so beautiful because the jelly prints already give you a gorgeous background um, and unusual marking so imagine it was just so pretty her sketches were gorgeous and she could actually sketch much better than me so <laughs> hers was very cool okay. so and you can throw this in the pur in your purse you know and create just like that of course, I would be neater if I wasn't on camera. But I don't want you guys here with me for hours. But this is probably going to be at least a 20 minute video. Okay, just like that. Fun. And then for these, what I do is I'm just going to put little dots for the scallops and then I'll go over them too. But scallops are a great doodle. If you don't know what to do, at a scallop. Okay. And then for these little guys, we're going to go around them. And this is just a plain jelly roll white pen. And I got at the art store for a buck. I don't like my doodles or tracing to be perfect, so um, I'm just kind of doing rough, like edging right now. Okay, I'm put these into pop just a little bit more, so I'm gonna trace around those also. But if you don't have a white pen, then you can use a paint pen. Although these jelly ball pins are not that expensive. I mean, if you can, I would get at least one for your stash. And um, white always just adds something to a background. I can't explain it, but it's, it's like kind of one of those basic art journaling or art making supplies that I recommend that you have. But if you can't afford it, no worries. You can just do the black and it would still be as beautiful. Probably more beautiful. Okay. And maybe in here I'll just put some dashes, some marks. All right. If you wanted to, we could do some dots too. Maybe we could put a little bit of dots. Oops, and that's the wrong pin. Maybe let's put some just randomly. All over the place or on the bottom of this page. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this pen and just kind of go in the middle of those. Just make a little mark. And they're not even in the middle, but I like them. Okay, and then as I said, you can put your own beads on the end. But aren't those cute? So this is just a quick and easy way for you to make a little journal. And we can do a flip through. Isn't this cute? With your jelly prints. So save all those jelly prints and make a cute little journal um, that you can include in Happy Mail or give um, or use yourself um, just for sketches and they do have the white pages but as I said you can paint on those or maybe journal that's actually a great idea like maybe when you do a sketch you can journal on the back and you know explain what you did or what you used or why you decided to sketch that this would be really cool but I just love these little books they're so cute so I'm going to make some more of these
um, because I have stuff out. So um, I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.